Alright, so I'm going to start by going into the shade Vert from Vert. I horrible at pronouncing some French names. Um, from the Natasha, Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. I just took them out of the pan uh, for ease of use today because I am using three different palettes and I didn't want to take up too much space on my desk here, so I took it out of the pan. It's easier to use like this anyways when you have multiple palettes laid out that you're using. So I'm just taking this um, a lightish wash all over the crease just a little bit. And then with a smaller brush I'm going to take um, slightly denser also from the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. I'm taking the shade Mochi and then I'll be taking the shade Fire OG in the inner part of the crease here. So this is going to go um, slightly more inward and then the other one's going to go more tightly inward. I don't know, know how to describe it at this very moment. It's early in the morning and I'm still finishing my coffee. Okay. I'm going to start by taking a smaller brush with the Fire OG color. And I'm going to start packing that on the outer corner here. Bringing it about not quite halfway onto the lid. But this shade gives fallout, so I'm getting followed here. I probably can't even see it, but. And then I'm blending that in with this brush. Um, if you need to take a little bit more of mochi on it to help blend it out, you can do that. This is just a process of layering. And blending and layering and blending to get the intensity that you're looking for. Now, I'm not 100% a fan of this Gemini Cosmetics palette. I feel like the mattes don't blend. Um, like, I like it, but it takes work to use. Slightly bigger fluffy brush now with the Fire OG color. I'm trying to cover more space. That brush wasn't really working 100%, so I'm just packing it on instead of swiping it on. Because I feel like that helps it go on and stick better. And then taking... Just going back and forth between that brush and this brush with the two different colors just to, you know, work it in and make it blend. Okay, I just need a little bit more Fire OG right here. I wish it was a little bit darker, but I might have to go on with the black later. I'm not sure how it's going to end up looking. Okay, is my blue vein showing? Yeah, it looks like I haven't blended again. But what can you do? I should maybe look for like a color correcting eye primer that might help that. But you know what? I don't really care. It only shows on camera. It doesn't really show like that in real life. Okay, uh, brow bone. Going in to uh, Naked 2 and the shade Booty Call on the brow bone. And then I'm going to take Ion from the Trio Chrome, and I'm on the fluffier dual chrome brush, fluffier dual fiber brush, and I'm going to take that on the inner corner here just to help blend everything together, and then prep it for the color I'm laying down next. Put that away for now, and now I'm going into the Pat McGrath palette. Not sure which one this is, but it's the one with the awesome green in it and the pink. I've really been trying to focus on using more of the palettes that I spent money on uh, that weren't cheap and that need some more love, so I'm trying to focus on Pat McGrath lately. I know I use a lot of Natasha Denona, um, but I mean, I like her formula, what can I say? Okay, so some glitter glue on the lid to help the shadow stick, because that's how I like to use shadows with my difficult sometimes lids. Okay, and I'm just taking that color on my finger. Beautiful color. And I'm going to pack that on. I'm just going to wipe it off on my clock here before I dip my finger back in. To 
prevent hard pan. Okay, now once I have that packed on, I'm going to go in with a flat brush here. And I'm just going to use that for more precise to blend the edges into the surrounding color. Now this is a green eye that I can get behind. I like this green eye. Not that I can't get behind other green eyes, but it seems like I'm always trying to make like the perfect combination of green. And I love this like the swampy green with the moss green and like the weird pukey color. I like this look a lot. And I'm not even done yet. Okay, back in with Ion from Natasha Denona. I'm just taking this in the inner corner again. And then I think I want to take a little bit more of the Fire OG and then Mochi combination in the outer corner. Hmm, do I dare take a little bit of Leo? It's an even deeper green. Maybe I'll just take like one little dab of it just to see what it does. It might not do anything. I don't want to ruin this look either, so. And then taking the brush that I had mochi on, going back in with a tad bit of mochi, tapping it off, and blending it out again. So I feel like I ruined it by going in with Leo. So I'm going back in again. Man, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, that's fine for now. I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, eyeliner, finish up this eye and figure out what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. Alright, so before I jump into the lower lash line for foundation, I used Dior Backstage mixed with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, Hollywood Flawless Filter. And then, uh, blush, I used the Hourglass Palette in this one right here. This is one of the edits, I don't remember which one it was, volume 4. And then for highlight, I used the Natasha Denona. And I used the cream, and then this one, and then this one. That is my glow today. For a lower lash line, I'm going to start with my gold pencil here from NARS. I need to get another one, this one is drying out and not working awesome anymore. Um, I'm going to take, I guess I'll take this pencil brush here, and I'm going into the shade Vert from the Trio Chrome palette, same color we used in the, on the um, outer crease up here, and I'm taking that about halfway. kind of want to blow it out slightly, but not too far down. Maybe I'll use a different brush for that. Where's my brush? Is it this one? No, is it this one? Yeah, I'm going to use the Anastasia, the double-ended one from Anastasia. Anastasia. I'm not sure which palette it came in, but... Just a slightly fluffier brush just to get the blown, um, like the blended blown out effect. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take from my Natasha Denona, uh, sorry, my ABH Volume 2. I'm taking the Chartreuse Green, Yellowy Green, in the middle there, A3, and I'm taking that on a small brush, and I'm putting that on the inner corner here. Okay, I believe, where's my other, I'm going to go back into Vert. Vert. and just buff that in some more and then for the inner inner corner I'm going to take my MAC Gold Oop, this old one here and blend that together there just like that Make sure it's all blended in the inner corner and now on the upper lid. Okay. Mascara and then lip. Okay, so I did add one more thing to my eyes. I added to the inner rim Urban Decay's Freak and then I topped it with Natasha, Natasha Denona's Ion. 
I really do enjoy the way this look turned out. And for lips, I used a combination of Max Influentially It Powder Kiss. And then I topped it with a little bit of MAC Myth Gloss. And let's zoom in on the eyes here. Oops, wrong way again. So there's the eyes. And the whole look. Alright, and I think I'm running out of battery or memory card. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really like the way this turned out. It's a very pretty green look in my opinion. Alright, thank you very much for watching and you guys will see me in my next video. Bye!